Welcome to our program on Kardec Radio. Hello, dear friends, and welcome to the Prayer for Peace moment on Kardec Radio. I'm your host, Daniel Peon. Again, so happy to be here one more time with you, my friends. Um, as always, let's start our prayer for moment um, with a prayer for peace moment with a small prayer so we can tune in with the high spirits and can also start our week in a beautiful way. I'll put some soothing music for us. I invite you to take a deep breath. And let's visualize our dear Lord Jesus arriving close to us and as his bright light comes to our eyes we feel immense love and joy and as Jesus comes close by we feel embraced we feel cared And we also feel very grateful and thankful to our God because our dear Mother, Father God has created us, created all creatures, and also created our Lord Jesus that is surveilling and governing our planet and everything that we love inside of it. Thank you so much, dear God and dear Lord Jesus, for all your work and incessant love. We would like to also invite our spirit's friends, incarnated and discarnated, join forces with us today so we can all pray together for brothers and sisters who are in need as you support us to keep focus learn and serve and with much gratitude in our hearts we would like to ask your permission to start this prayer for moment of today and so be it Okay, dear friends, um, today I have a special message for you. I found this in the Spiritist Magazine issue 26. It is from Humberto de Campos, from the media, with the mediumship of Chico Xavier. It is a, a big message from the chapter. However, I got a, a small excerpt which I think gets the idea, exactly the idea that we need when we are praying for peace. So let me share because it's so good. So it's called the fight against evil. And when we think about praying for peace, a lot of times this comes to our minds, right? So, and that also happened with Jude's or Tadeus, right, with Judas, who are always thinking how we, Jesus, and all of us could tackle evil in a more efficient way. He had a lot of, you know, um, um, ideas. And um, so he approached Jesus and asked, uh, how how this should be performed. He had also tried to um, expel an evil spirit from somebody, but he was not successful. So he gathered to, to Jesus in a private conversation. So 
to understand a little bit better how he could do that. Uh, because with Jesus, it's so, so easy to do it. So Jesus responded that all of evil spirits are also our brothers and sisters and should be regarded as such. And then Judas asked, Lord, are the evil spirits our brothers and sisters as well? All the cre and then uh, Jesus said, all the creation belongs to, to God. One day, those who wear the robe of evil will look for the redemption of the good. Could you doubt this by any chance? The disciple of the gospel does not fight their brothers or sisters per se, as God never starts a fight with his, with his sons. We just fight every manifestation of ignorance. So again, we fight the manifestation of ignorance as the Father who works tirelessly for the victory of his love towards the whole of humanity. And then Judas, with some conviction, said, but wouldn't it be fair to convene all malevolent geniuses in order to get them to be converted to the truth of heavens. Right? Because Jesus was doing this so easily. And then the master said, why does God proceed like that? Would we perhaps have a more sublime and stronger substance of love than his paternal love? Jude, we shall never forget the good fight. If someone calls you to the ungrateful labor of the bad seed, do not disdain the good fight for the victory of the good facing any difficult position as a sacred opportunity to reveal your loyalty to God. Always embrace your brother. If the opponent of the kingdom instigates you to clarification about the whole truth, do not despise the time of work for the victory of the light, but follow your way in the world and pay attention to your own duties, because God does not abandon his divine activities in order to enforce moral renewal on his ungrateful children who rebelled in his home. If the world seems to be populating in shadows, you must recognize that God's law Laws are always the same in all latitudes of life. Then Jude, a word about not being capable of effectively attending to the victim who had looked for him, Jude then added, Lord, your words are always wise, but what will I need in order to remove the entities of the shadow when their empire gets established in the souls? Well, Jesus said, let us go back to the beginning of your explanations. This is the reason why you need to build the kingdom, the core of your spirit, having this as the goal of your life. Only the light of divine love is strong enough to convert a soul to the truth. Have you ever seen any contender of the earth convince honestly themselves only by the virtue of words in the world? Philosophical dissertations do not constitute the whole achievement. They can be an easy resource of indifference or a bright robe covering up painful needs. The kingdom of God, however, is the edification of divine light. And the light illuminates, eliminating the long speeches. Be aware that nobody can give others things that they, don't, they still don't have in their hearts. Go, work incessantly, work incessantly for your big victory. Take care of yourself and love your neighbor without forgetting that God watches over everyone. Wow. <laughs> and my friends, the text is... I, there's so much more there. I totally recommend uh, the whole book, but if you if you could take a look in Spiritist Magazine, issue 26, 
just to get all these conversations between Jude and between Jude, Jude and Jesus. It is amazing. Just a recap here, right? Um, so Jesus explained that everyone is our brothers and sisters, even the, the evil and most evil spirits that are around us. Still, they are, and that um, we should fight the manifestation of ignorance, right? Not fight them because they are also child of God. And um, that also we should never forget the good fight. Um, so um, doing the, the any possibility to work with for the victory of, of um, the kingdom of God. However, so always embracing our brothers and sisters, but if there is an instigation for the clarification of the whole truth, um, Jesus recommends that we do not let our daily work and our chores and our duties to be um, hurt, to be, to have, um, so we can administer our time in a better way, in a meaning that God will never forget any child of him. So it is, um, there's going to be acts of God in all uh, latitudes of life. Right, so pay attention to your own duties um, to not, you know, get into um, a problem. And then Jesus continues to explain, saying that philosophical dissertations normally <laughs> do not constitute a whole achievement or changing somebody in a moral way. And a better way of doing this is doing by example, leading by example is constructing the kingdom of God in ourselves first. So he finalized by saying, work incessantly for your big victory, taking care of yourself, loving your neighbor, and um, trying to edificate the kingdom of God in our hearts. So, that's the message, my friends. If we want peace in the world, let's listen carefully to what Jesus is saying here. Thank you so much, Humberto de Campos, Chico Xavier, for bringing this message to us. Also, everyone involved with the Spiritus Magazine and the Kardec Radio team, SSVA, who are um, making also this available um in many other uh view in many other uh ways of doing this for the spiritus magazine for cardiac radio and others so thanks everyone who's involved in, in both realms on this my friends i would like to invite you to our final prayer so now let's focus our hearts and our minds exactly to what we just just learned from Jesus, okay? I'll put some Sufi music again. And I invite you to follow my words with all your heart. And I'll make my words as, to be inspired by the spirits and friends and guardian angels who are surrounding us. Dear Mother, Father, God, thank you so much for having the opportunity to be here today, listening to Humberto de Campos through Chico Xavier that brought us the account from Jesus and Jude, where we could see ourselves as Jude with so many questions and still not having our hearts fulfilled with the King of God. 
We love to learn that all evil will someday be in the light and that all brothers and sisters who are acting with evil acts are in need of light and this light could be achieved through the increase of the divine light in our hearts. So, we would like now to visualize our brothers and sisters who are afflicting others. So, these brothers and sisters of ours they are around war zones. They are feeling emotions of contentment and happiness with suffering and disgrace of others. They are feeling connected with the material world. They want to make justice. They feel anger. They are feeling lack of peace. So, dear Lord Jesus, allow us to connect with all evil spirits that are in need of your light. And we now pray for them. Praying so that they can increase the divine light in their hearts. Because we do know that God is always in mercy with their daughters and sons. And we also want to connect and visualize the other brothers and sisters who are being afflicted and suffering. They are in the war zones, in nursing homes, refugee camps, they are homeless. And we want them to feel God's love through you, Jesus. Thank you so much for being this bright light that can heal the wounded and bring hope to the hopeless. You, dear Lord Jesus, is the one that we must seek and try to apply your teachings in our lives. So please allow them to apply the same teachings, to forgive, to love, and to care for others. And as we visualize all our brothers and sisters getting better, Feeling your love, feeling your care, Jesus, we start to see that all these dark and evil manifestations goes out from our planet, and the beam of light of God comes from within Earth to outside, beaming in the universe, its beautiful light, its divine essence, as we visualize the victory of the Kingdom of God on this planet. And with much gratitude in our hearts, 
would like to ask you, Jesus, your protection and permission to close this prayer for moment of today. And so be it. All right, my friends, thank you so much for your support and your company. And God willing, I'll see you next time, next Monday. Stay tuned. We have online spiritual care coming soon. And until next time, have a good week. Bye-bye.